Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. It's Alexis, your Pampered Chef Consultant here in Southeast Coastal Georgia. And I teach you how to use your kitchen tools, most of them are Pampered Chef, along with recipes so you can make one I'm making at my house at your house. And today we're doing BLTs and French fries. All right, so it's just for the two of us, my mom and I. And uh, we're gonna be starting off with, we got this bacon, buy one, get one free at Publix this week. So at least it wasn't an arm and a leg, it was just, it was expensive, but still is more affordable than buying at full price at what, $9 for a pack of bacon these days. All right, so this is thick cut hardwood smoked bacon. It's by Hatfield. And uh, we're gonna cut this up with some scissors here. Let's get our scissors out and just open it up. And we're gonna be using some stoneware today. And I'm gonna show you the two different types of stoneware that Pampered Chef, um, well, they had one, but now we, have, we're, we accelerated to the new stoneware. The old stoneware doesn't have as many features and benefits as the um, the new one. All right, so we got our bacon already cut. Let me put this off to the side and put that in the side. And I'll show you the, the old stoneware, which is this one's this one's getting pretty seasoned. It's nice and brown. You're saying, oh my God, that's really dirty. No, this is what the, a well-seasoned stoneware should look like. It ha actually has a patina of like your car waxed and all your stuff will slide right off of it. Hello, everybody coming in. What do you think? Of, I don't have no idea what that is. So anyway, we are cooking today and uh, this is our stoneware. And, the, and you can tell the difference between the old stoneware and the new stoneware is by the back of it. This one here is a Pampered Chef. It's a classic co collection, but the new stoneware uh, is Stone Fusion. Now this one here, it has to be covered by about 75 to 80 percent. So you, you can't just put like one little piece of something right here. It needs to be covered like from here down. It needs only like most of it needs to be covered. Majority of it needs to be covered. All right, when you put it in there. The new stoneware, now this one here is a new stoneware. You can tell the new because it has the weave on the back of it. And you can tell that it's new because it's not as well seasoned on this one. So the new stoneware, you can actually preheat this and, and get it, put your stuff on it when it's hot. Um, what else? It's dishwasher safe. Whereas this one here, we never put soap on it. This one, you can put soap on it. This one, the old wear, no. So that's the two differences. If you want any of these pampered, pampered chef, you want that stoneware, reach out to me. I can get it to your house. Lickety split. All right. So we're going to be doing a couple different things. We are making bacon and I got my bacon cut up and we're just going to get our bacon. And we're going to line it on our stove, on our pan. Now, one thing about the bacon, it is easier to deal with bacon for like sandwiches. If you cut it in half, don't be ba don't be baking this whole thing up. Just cut it right in half. There we go. And my dog's making that sound out there. I don't know what he's doing. All right, so we got to cut it right in half. So it's easier, easier to handle this part than the whole big one, right? All right, so we're just gonna put this on our stoneware and we're gonna work quickly. Just put it right on, just like this. Hello there. Uh, if you can, you can tap hard, share out and follow. Uh, that would be help. Tap those hearts. Tap, tap, tap. That actually gets onto our feed better. And especially if you like cooking shows. I do cooking broadcast. All right. Uh, yes, bacon. Road less travel. Hey, girl. How you doing? So we're doing bacon. And I'm doing bacon in the oven because one, it's a less mess. One, it is so less messy. All right, so I'm going to put all these down here. Just put them down. And I think it's going to be a perfect amount. Two uh, large bar, bar pans would be perfect for this. There we go. One more. I get one more down. Oh, I got two. There's one and one over here. There we go. Just put that there. And I try not to let them touch. All right. I don't want, because then you have to try and separate them when they, when they come out. So keep a little space between them. This is about 75% covered on this one here. And let's do the, uh, the other pan right here. And I'm going to get, this one has a lot more fat on it. Okay. Uh, so anyway, get your bacon. Let me put this in the garbage. We don't need this anymore. And I tried to look at the meaty part of the bacon. They always show you the pretty start, pretty part of the bacon uh, in the grocery stores, but you really need to look under the undercarriage of the, the package. And I forgot to show you how you look. Now this one is a little fatty, but that's okay. A little fat goes a long way. And this is actually in my diet. I'm on a Weight Watcher plan and uh, this is in my, in my diet. I can have a couple pieces of this and not ruin my whole entire diet. Uh, and then you can also, if you have leftovers, you can uh, draw, put them in and put them as bacon bits. Um, we're going to be doing sandwiches today. Let me put that down. I got one, two here. Two on this one. Squishy. These are, this is a fatty end of it, so I'm trying to shimmy them around. All right, just shimmy them around so they're not touching. There we go. You got it. We got it. 
All right, there you go. So a couple of different things. My name again is Alexis. This broadcast is being broadcast on TikTok. I'll download it and upload it to my YouTube channel and put it over on my uh, table website also. Uh, hello there. Love those pans with foil. No, we don't put foil on this at all. This is stoneware. This is naturally made. It's all made in the United States stoneware. I'm going to wash my hands for a second. Aluminum foil is actually not good for you to cook with, believe it or not. I have a friend up in Connecticut and she tells me, Alexis, don't be doing those foil packets. I'm like, okay. But anyway, um, we got this nicely done up. It is stonework by Pampered Chef. And the more you use it, the better the stonework gets. It gets, gets this nice uh, dark patina. It'll actually get this color and actually gets to, to this dark, dark one. Um, and that's, that's it. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. Uh, let me see, I can put it in the oven at 425 degrees. Now my pans can go up to 425 degrees. So I'm putting them in side by side. There they go. And let's set the timer. It's probably about 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Let's ha ask Alexa to set it for 20 minutes. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to turn on my stove and I got my water hot and we're going to be making some French fries. I've never done the French fries this way. We're going to be using the rapid prep mandolin to make our French fries. And we're going to boil them a little bit and then we're going to dry them off and put them in the air fryer. All right. So let's see who else is here. Roadless Travel, thanks for coming in. Hello, Granny. Hello, uh the dog 1995 there you go uh we don't we try to keep to the top the topic on here which is all food all right aluminum breaks down yeah n aluminum never breaks down that's probably one of them but something to do with uh, alzheimer's and and aluminum i do believe and you know how like you have the underarm and it's not good for you because it causes cancer i think it's the same type thing all right so anyway we're gonna be doing next up next is our rapid prep mandolin this thing here, here shreds slices and also makes uh french fry sticks all right so we're gonna be open this up if you want more information please find find me on this one i sell this product i sell those those other ones also Oops, I gotta turn this around. It does have a little hopper for safety reasons, and you put this in. What's different about this one that has the one as you've seen on wherever your wherever social media is the hopper here is a lot bigger, and they do fly out. Those French fries fly out really, really quick. All right, so we're gonna put this down. The blades right here, so it's a safety feature, and we're gonna put our little hopper in. Just look that up. It slides right in, really easy. We're gonna put our veggie in here and push it right down, and this thing comes up, and you'll go slice, 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 slice and it goes, your french fries are gonna come out lickety split. So I'm gonna put this on the french fry mo mode, which is, uh, where am I at? This one over here. And I wanna put it on the, the biggest one, so number eight, and on the french fry cup. So I have two potatoes here, and I'm just gonna leave the skins on them because I like my skins on my potatoes, all right? Uh, so we're gonna put this right in here. And when you want the potatoes to be a little bit bigger, make sure that the potato is facing towards the machine and not away, all right? And what I mean by that is that it's angled this way and not that way. This way is gonna give you short potatoes. This is gonna give you a little bit longer um, potato sticks. So you're gonna put this in and you're just gonna push this down. Let me see if I can get it closer. And you're going to see them fly out right down through here, okay? All right, that's all cut up. I got one little tiny, oh, that one fell down. All right, so we're going to do that again. See that? That was pretty, pretty quick. So we're going to do it again. All right, so this is all done. We're going to put this away. There we go, put it all down, put it away. It is dishwasher safe. All right, I wash all my tools by hand because they last a lot longer when you wash them by hand. And you can see that my French fries are lickety split done. How quick was that? Now, normally I just, <coughs> excuse me, rinse these off. I forgot to get some water. I rinse them off in water and then I pat dry them and I put them in my air fryer. But today, yeah, that was quick, really quick and easy. We're gonna blanch these for about four minutes, all right? And I have my pot on the stove right here and I'm gonna get my little spider, spider, so I'm ready to go. And I have my potatoes right down here, or my water's already boiling. Let me see if I can put you right there. Oops, uh, we are precariously perched on my um, stove. All right, so that's as good as we're gonna get right there. Hello from another PC consultant from Rhode Island. Hello, how are you doing? So I'm gonna turn this down. Uh, well, I'm actually not to turn it down. We ha this one here is a uh, steamer pan by Pampered Chef, but I'm just gonna put my potatoes in here. All right, just put them right in. Alexa set the timer for four minutes. Four minutes. 
starting now. All right. And just gonna let, they're on like one level of potatoes on here. That's why I wanted to keep them so I can get them all done at one time. And this is two potatoes in here. All right, let's get our lid, put the lid back on, bring it back up and bring it to a boil. And we're gonna let that go for four minutes. Now in the meantime, we're gonna get a nice clean towel and we're gonna put it on our countertop here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry off those potatoes and then we're gonna put them on our tray to put them in the air fryer. How simple does that sound? I saw this I saw this on TikTok, how they did this. It was four minutes here, take them off once they're blanched. And then, um, actually it's probably gonna be about five minutes because we need to bring the water back to boil there, okay? Did you ever get your Instagram back? Yeah, hey, uh, Tommy, Tommy, I did get my Instagram back. I did get the Instagram back. I haven't been posting too much there because that's not where y'all are. Y'all are here on TikTok. And uh, I haven't figured it out. I'm trying to figure out TikTok and trying to figure out social media is just mind boggling, right? Uh, so yes, I did get it back finally. I don't know what happened. I guess he got tired of um, Bitcoining my friends to death saying, hey, it's Alexis, how are you doing? I'm selling Bitcoins. I'm like, I'm not selling no Bitcoins, y'all. So anyway, um, uh, Meta sent me an email saying, hey, something about it and I, and I, I tried to change, I changed it and it came, It popped up and I got it back for some reason. And then I put the two security factor on there. I put my friends as secured, no public list on that one. You can't see my friends or anything. What are we making? We are making bacon. We are making BLTs and French fries. Yeah, I'm on a diet too. I'm on Weight Watchers. So I have to get back on track. Uh, this is not quite on track. You can probably put more BLT salad than the bread, but I'm going for the bread today, okay? And um, the, French fries are in the uh, the pan right here. That we're sauteing, we're we're parboiling our potatoes, and then we're gonna put them in the air fryer and air fry them. All right. So we're making BLTs and French fries, and these are like, if you are on a diet and they say, oh, you can't have any deep deep fry, definitely get yourself an air fryer because this will be a game changer for you and your diet. Sometimes you just need some bread. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you just need some bread. And today, my mom had a bologna um, and mustard sandwich, you know, like the regular bologna, B-L-L-O-G-N-A. And uh, I got it, but I didn't use the bread. I actually used uh, the one-point tortillas. <laughs> and I wrapped it up in a one-point, one slice of bologna on a, on, on a, on a tortilla. <laughs> It satisfied me. I, I was fine. So there we go. So anyway, let me know where you're coming in. Uh, you can tap hearts on the screen. You just go tap, 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 and you see yourself go up there with the little red hearts and do that. And you can do another different thing. Down at the bottom, it says share. What you do is you touch the share and just put in uh, copy that link. And it'll say copy link at the top. You don't have to go anywhere, just copy. If you wanna share it out, that's great. But it helps the algorithms here on TikTok, all right? If you love Pampered Chef and you like following me because I have a lot of followers from Periscope and Haps here and uh, you can follow me over to the Table platform, T-A-B-L-E. It is a Pampered Chef website where you, we don't have to rely on any algorithms. All right, so go over there. The link is in my profile. It'll say, please request to join the table because I want to vet you before you go to table. All right, you're not just coming into my house and then robbing my, my stuff. So We'll have a little vetting process saying, who are you? How do you find me? And then I'll send you the link, all right? So that's just one way, because I did have one troll try to get into to table, but I kept on booting him out. Fries are not uh, fried, but broiled. Mm, they're air fried, air fried at a high temperature with the heat circulating. It is a confection oven. It's a Pampered Chef air fryer, which is a not conventional oven. We're baking our bacon in the conventional oven, but I had the Pampered Chef air fryer and it's all set up right there, ready to go for us. And um, that's that, all right? So, oh, Alexa, turn the timer off. That's our four minute timer. So we're gonna take our potatoes out. And, oops. And I'm gonna use the new Pampered Chef spider. Now this is a great tool to scoop stuff up and get them out of the out of the liquid. All right, so it was on there for four minutes. Oh, one fell underneath there. Let's turn that off, all right? And I'm just gonna put them on the dry towel, all right? And they are, they're slightly parboiled. So it takes, hopefully it's gonna take less time to cook in the air fryer, but we have to get them all dried off. All right, I'll be showing you what I'm doing in a second. We have, oops, put that right down. See, it's, it, it just gets all the, the liquid out, all right? I'm trying to get them all out so they all cook at the same time. And I hear my bacon sizzling away in the oven, y'all. It sounds so good. All right, so what kind of seasonings do you like to put on your french fries? 
Do you like all season salt? Do you just like regular salt? Do you like salt and vinegar? We have a salt and vinegar, I think. Yeah, we do have salt and vinegar. I do like that, all right? And we're gonna spray these with a little bit of oil. Not much, okay, not much. All right, so I got them all out. We're done with the spider, all right? And let me angle you over this way. Seasons, season salt and garlic salt. There you go. All right, so we have that. Let me see if I can, whoo. Oh, we can expand it a little bit. There you go. It was a little over-processed there. Uh, all right, hands-free. All right, so anyway, we got our, our potatoes there, our par partially cooked, and we want, to, we want to dry them off because water and oil don't mix, just FYI. So it'll, it'll take a long time for them to dry out if you don't do this process right here. Just get yourself a dry towel and um, rub them dry, all right? And then we're gonna put them in the air fryer. So they already are partially cooked, not all the way. This is just like your potatoes in, or right at potatoes in, in the, um, the freezer section. And you can do this if you want to. You can cut all these up, uh, all this up, stuff up, and then put them in your um, refrigerator, but put them on a sheet pan with parchment and make your french fries for another day. You can just do it right from here, okay? This would be a great part. part. All right, so they are dried off. I don't see any wet spots, which means they're like shiny. And we're gonna get our trays, and I got two trays, and we're gonna put our potatoes right on here. There we go, just put them right on, there we go. Right. Shimmy them around a little bit. There we go, so if they're nice and flat, there's, there's space between them. And again, on this one here, you always want on your air fryer to have space between um, your food so that it, the air can circulate in it. If you put um, put them on top of each other and there's no space, well then uh, they will steam and not fry. All right, so let's get this one and I get this and put it right on the next one. Here, let's put them right there. All right, got that. I'm gonna fold this baby in half. This one may have a little bit more than the other one, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get my kitchen spritzer and I'm gonna spray some oil on it. So if you don't mind, tap hard, share out, and follow along. My name is Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef, and I love teaching you how to use your kitchen tools, especially Pampered Chef ones, so you can make what I'm making at my house at your house. So if this one sprays out a little bit less, so you're going to have to spray it a few times, and then you can just toss it around with your hand, okay, just so it gets on both sides. There we go. Spray it one more time. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon to an eighth of a teaspoon that sprays out. The older one that's in the outlet sprays about uh, one teaspoon. So this one's pretty good. And I'm gonna switch them out. And you can see, see they're nicely done up. I'm gonna put a couple over here. Cause this one has a lot on it. Yeah. Yeah. And again, spread them out so that there's air between them. And this can go right into my air fryer, ready to go. Um, we're gonna put some seasonings on it. You can either salt them now or salt them later, however you want. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, that's a, I think that when you put salt on anything that you're frying, it brings out the liquid. So I always salt mine after and not beforehand. And it does make sense because if you put, if you put like uh, salt on any veggies, roasted vegetables, it makes them wet. It draws out the liquid in them. So I try not to salt, salt them until uh, at the end of the process rather than at the beginning of the process. I notice when I'm spraying, I'm spraying it right onto my towel so I don't get it all over my countertop there. All right, that should be done. I'm gonna have to burp that baby in a second. I may have to do one more. There we go, now it's pretty good, pretty good. All right, so if you want, you can uh, actually use your all season salt on this one here or uh, wait until the end, all depends how uh, for me, I just put them in plain and then salt them later. But that's my preference. A lot of people salt them now, but hey, do, does McDonald's salt their fries before they put them in the air fryer? Just, just saying, all right? So we're gonna put this in the air fryer. I'll put them on the bottom one and on the top one. And I go for 20 minutes. Oops. Air fryer, 20 minutes. Well, it says 25. All right, so we'll let it go, 25 minutes. 
there we go. Please look at your screen. I am looking at my screen. Uh, when you cook, all right, be polite to the, sh to the uh, person who's cooking because either they have their knife or they have oil on their hands and they can't look at the screen. But I always do scroll back to see what comments were made. All right, so let me go back. Uh, sometimes you just need bread. We got that one. Hello, Lola. Thank you for following. Uh, the fries are not fried, but broiled. No, they're air fried in the air fryer, with the, which is Pampered Chef. Uh, thank you for following me there, um, Monk and Hernandez. How are you doing? How, how to clean a stoneware. Okay, how to clean the stoneware. Super easy. Hot water. And it comes with a little pan scraper, and you just scrape it off. Just hot water. Cleans it, y'all. You don't need to put the, salt, the uh, soap on there. Now, if you want, you can't put salt on it, and it'll be an abrasive for you. But do not put soap on your onion. On the new one, you can. But even on the new ones, I just um, put them in the sink. And maybe I'll do a, a demonstration after I'm done. I'll do a cleaning technique of the stoneware and show you how. Okay, and that way I'll, I'll do a little, little video. Hey, Blue Eyes three thirty. Thank you for following. Hello, Kimberly. Uh, how are you doing? Thank you for following. Hello, Nikki. Seasoned salt and uh, and garlic salt. Uh, seasoned salt says Jen. Ockert 70 thank you for coming hello Mike thank you for following how can I clean the stoneware I already told you that we'll do a video after this one once I get done with the bacon I'm making scrambled eggs for a quick dinner oh I love scrambled eggs I'll take I'll take eggs and you see I have eggs back over here let me see oops right there those are our, our um, my brother's chickens eggs from last week we do not if you have a chicken in the yard and you get eggs from your like your neighbor or whoever the farmer that hasn't cleaned them yet um, you can keep them out on the countertop. Once the egg is washed, because there's a lot of poop on that egg, okay? You have to wash your eggs, even before you crack it. Even if I'm using those, I have to wash those eggs and then use them, all right? Why uh, broil before putting in the egg? Uh, why, uh, I'm not, I didn't broil. I actually uh, par-cooked them. I put them in hot water and I par-cooked my uh, potatoes so they take less time in the air fryer and uh, I saw it on TikTok, so I thought, hey, let's parboil. I always thought that that would work, and I really wanted to check it out. So we're doing a little experimental cooking today. Uh, Nikki, thank you for sharing the video, how to clean stoneware. We did that one. Uh, we already did that one. Hello from Utah. Thank you, BB4459, for following. All right. Hello from Utah. Hello, Candace. How are you doing, girl? You can do a couple different things. You can tap hearts. Just tap that screen. Tap, 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 tap. That brings this thing up to the feed. And uh, share out comment and follow man that's pretty easy right and that's even if you are on uh youtube too uh you can give a thumbs up mm -hmm. give a heart leave a comment i finally found out that when you when you upload to youtube to turn off the kids because when you have the kids on there they can't you can't have comments on it so i had to take it off not for kids Although all my shows are G-rated, all right? And I am an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. I got my hat on because I was out walking and I don't want to get my white hair all yellow from the sun because it's really hot and, and very sunny today here in Southeast Coastal Georgia. Thank you for sending lights, Kit. Hello, Jennifer, how are you doing? Thank you, Happy Nana03. Welcome, Self Voice, how are you doing? Hello there. I don't know, we leave three, 4.30. Uh, RC Breaks, thank joined in EHOP. E your white hair, yeah, the white hair turns yellow from out in the sun. From and I walk quite a lot. I walk about ten thousand steps. And last summer, I noticed that like this, the little parts were getting a little bit yellow. So instead of bleaching your hair, like if you have colored hair and you go out in the sun, it actually um, fades it. It turns white hair a little bit yellow. Okay, so does shampoos that have color in it. It picks up that color really, really um, easy. All right. So now that this is all dirty, I need to put this in the in the laundry. There we go. All right. I think it went in the laundry. I think it went in the laundry. Let's see how the bacon is. <gasps> Bacon's almost done, y'all. Bacon is almost done. All right. So I got my lettuce ready for my sandwiches here. All right. Uh, we're going to just do up a couple of these little pretty little leaves. I, don't, I only need really need two leaves. And what else do I need? I need a tomato. Got a tomato knife. Let's get a mat. These mats by Pampered Chef are a lifesaver to your countertops. Get these things. You can pick them up and, and we can put everything on our table. Now, my, my tomato saw a better day. So I want to cut this part out, but I wanna, I'm just going to... I need to rinse it off too. Yeah, dry it off. All right, I didn't know. That's interesting. I love Pampered Chef. I'm a Pampered Cheek. Right. You love Pampered Cheek? <laughs> uh, 
uh, use blue. I use the blue and the purple shampoo. And actually, sweetie, uh, it actually turns my hair lavender when I uh, when I want to really brighten it up because it, my hair really does turn yellow. All right, I can get this. I need to move some some stuff over here. Hold on a second. Hopefully, you're not going to fall in the next second. All right. I need to move you over. There we go. I just took off some pots and pans off my stove. There. And my tripods. The, it's not seen a better day, but it could be better. All right. So we have our tomato. I'm just going to slice this up a little bit and uh, get rid of that bad spot. I don't need that many because it's just my mom and I that are eating. Okay. I haven't even gotten to the bad spot yet. One, two, three. All right, we'll only need one more. There we go. And that's the bad spot. There we go. So just cut that part off. Bad spot. Bad spot. All right. Try to use up your tomato before it goes bad, right? All right, let's put this on the side again and slice the rest of it up. Because my mom can have this. We can have this for dinner tomorrow night again. Or a salad. I'll probably do a salad. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna eat all that. All right, so we got that. We got our salad, we got our lettuce. And now I need to get out my um, bacon out of the oven. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? There are no timers set. Oh shoot, we didn't get the timer set for that one. All right, let's put this down and I get the mitts out. These are Pampered Chef ones, they're, they're in gray now, but I found the red ones and the gray ones are in my bag when I went to St. Petersburg and I forgot to bring them out. All right, so these are done. Yeah, this is done. Woo. All right, bacon, bacon, bacon sizzling, y'all. There we go. There's one. The other one can go for another couple seconds. I'm gonna put this pan in the oven or in the, over here. And I got my nice other, oh, that's, that one's really, really hot. These stainless steel ones get hot when you're on the stove. All right, here, let's put this down here. Here. Oops, there we go. All right, got that. Got the one that fell off. All right. And we got the, the rest of the bacon done. It's done. All right, so you can save your bacon grease to use it for other things or get rid of it. I don't save my bacon grease. There we go. And it is nicely sizzling. Sizzling, sizzling bacon. See how that was? And that was pretty quick. We've only been on here for, I don't know, this. give me the time on here. I thought it gave me how much time I was on here already. Not sure. All right, so we're going to let those cool off for a second. And then I'm going to put them on some paper towels and let the uh, grease drain on it. I didn't know. Uh, that's interesting, says uh, Hope. Yep. I love your mushroom window. <laughs> it fell down. That's from like 1970 or 80. It was from my mom and dad's house. My mom, I live with my mom. And uh, <laughs> it fell down right before I came in today. I'm surprised you noticed that. Uh, let's see, uh, Makayla, let me see, right, let me put this over here. I'm going to get some hmm, paper towels and a, and a towel and a, a paper or plate. Right, let's see how these are doing. They're doing good. All right. So the fries are still frying in there. We haven't never done the fries that way before where we par cooked them and then we put them in the air fryer. And all these tools are available for sale including oh i left my i left the small tongs i love the small tongs these big ones are big for my hand i like the see this thing here when it goes down it's oh, lets it open but when you turn it upside down it falls down and then it stays closed all right great tool to have all right so i'm going to get these bacon and take it right off and put it on some paper towels and boy does it shrink up look at that it's perfect bacon it's not overcooked or anything Yep. Let's do another one. So let me know in the comments. Hello there. Hey Monica, how are you doing? Let me know. We have 51 people watching right here. Let me know where you're watching from and I'll give you a shout out. All right. Uh, if you are saying where you're from, saying, hey, I broadcast, please say I broadcast so we can follow you. 
All right. Hey, Tracy, thanks for coming in. All right, so we're doing uh, bacon. And if you want to be put on my list, I have a list on Messenger that I send out notifications to my uh, friends that I'm going live. If you want that, just message me and say, hey, can I be friends with you on, on Messenger? And you can send me in uh, when you're going to go live. I know my friend Aiden over in the UK, he's been wanting me to go live. He's like, are you going to go live today? Are you going to go live today? Hello from Dayton, Ohio. Mama Rose, 64. How are you doing, girl? Hello, Quebec. Hello. That is Dorma. Dorma. Dora. Dora. Hello. For, hey, Pennsylvania. I'm from Pennsylvania originally. Shenandoah. Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area. Harvey's Lake. Hello from Mississippi. Jennifer, how are you doing? Uh, Hope from Pennsylvania. How are you doing? What part of Pennsylvania? I was in Northeast Pennsylvania. Hello, 3S is 3S. Crystal's from Canada. Toronto. There you go. Mississippi. There's Jennifer uh, McMurk. I don't know how you say the name. Gladful's joined. Hey, Gladful. Uh, we are making bacon. Uh, we made it in the Pampered Chef stoneware, which there's no splatter in the, in the oven at all. It is the easiest way to make bacon is to bake it in the oven. And the more you bake, the more you're going to eat because this is beautiful bacon. Beautiful bacon. I need one more. Nothing. All right, so we're halfway through on the um, French fries because I had it I said 20 minutes. I put 25. I didn't push the right button over there. But we're, we're keeping an eye on it. We have to switch the trays out. And this bacon can be done up way in advance. So you can do this in the morning and then have BLTs later on in the evening. All right. You don't have to do it all at once. All right. So there's our bacon. Now this one, this one got a little more crispy there. All right. So we're going to put that down. And I'm cooling off my uh, bacon pans. And then I'll do a demonstration because they are a mess. I'm going to show you how messy they are. So my bacon pans, I don't want to flip it around. See how messy they are? Let them cool down. We're going to um, take a paper towel and get all that fat off there because you don't want to take it down your drain and then clog up your, um, your system. So, and then I'm just going to soak that in water. And then I'll come back, put hot water on it with a scraper, and it'll come right off. And that one's this one's beautiful see how that is and it will season that stoneware there's so many different types of stoneware uh, this large bar pan is probably one of the most uh, highly used ones that I have all right let's cancel the oven because I don't need anything else in there uh, I love that pan says Jennifer I didn't know to do that yes hello from Michigan user how are you doing I'm from Greencastle Pennsylvania near Harrisburg okay my sister lives in Pottsville and Minersville What's cooking you from Macon, Georgia? Oh, I love Macon, Georgia. You have to go through Macon to get to Atlanta from southeast coast of Georgia off of 16 up to 85. No, 75, 75. Uh, there you go. Jennifer is from Mississippi. Uh, hello, hello. My pizza pan. Oh, my heart breaks. When your stoneware breaks, because if, especially if you got it seasoned, my, my stoneware, my oldest stoneware is 30 years old. It's a round one from like 30 years ago, 31 years ago, probably now. And uh, I thought you could only bake pizza on it, believe it or not. And about uh, six years ago, I became a Pampered Chef consultant. And I learned that you can bake like, and I, I thought, I know it was pizza and croissants, but you could bake a lot more things on there. Like, you know, croissant uh, rings and, you know, there's a whole lot of things. You can, cookies, you can bake, I was like, cookies? Why do I want to bake cookies on there? But you can bake cookies on these things. You can put one sheet pan on here and put your roasted vegetables in there and put them in the oven. And uh, it is uh, American stoneware. It's all made in the United States, this stoneware here. Uh, and the new stoneware, you can actually put soap on it and put it, or put it even in the dishwasher. And uh, it can actually preheat the new stoneware. The old stoneware, you can't. The old stoneware, and I'm going to treat my new stoneware just like my old stoneware. I will not, because when you use the soap on it, it will take that patina off, and you won't get that buildup of the, the good stuff. My pizza, okay, we got that one. Hello, Stacy Lynn, how are you doing? Let me see, I'm going to switch out my, my trays over here. I'm going to show you what the, um, here, we're going over to the other side of the kitchen here. That is the air fryer by Pampered Chef, and let's see if I can expand it. Oops, nope, get out of there. All right, there, there, all right. Oh, and I think it's backwards too. I'm backwards, right? All right, so we can switch these out. Oop, they're getting nice and toasty here. And flip them out because we have about, we still have a few more minutes. Oh man, this is, let's take one out. Oh, 
Oh, I dropped it. Y'all, I dropped it. Now I need to get a different one. All right, let's get that one out. Let's put that there. One for the dog. There we go. One for the dog down there. All right, so this one here is a crispy French fry. I'm going to let this cool off for a second because it's really, really hot. All right. Oops. And let me see. I am backwards, but I think for, um, he said I can switch this around. Hmm. Enhance. Mirror my flip. No, not mirror my camera. There we go. Now you see me, right? There you go. And we are on a weight loss journey still. Okay. I gained a little weight the last couple months, you know. I want to get down to my slim 142, 138, 142. I'm at 144 right now. Mm. You always want a pamper step? Follow me. Come on over. Join my VIP group on table. I think I'll do pizza this week. Mm, this is crunchy. These are crunchier than went out. Mm, this is really good. All right, y'all. Skip the bread. I'm going for the fries. Doing good. I gained. <laughs> well, I think, well, it's not much, you know, but you like to be a little bit, you know, trimmer in here because, you know, that hot weather's coming up. Yeah. And I got to get back out walking. I've been walking on the treadmill uh, and trying to get it done because I walk quicker on the treadmill, but I have to have, y'all, I got to have one hand on the bar while I'm doing the treadmill. And then I do this because I want my, my movement to to like count and I want to get rid of this. Anybody want to get rid of this? This is what I really, really need to get rid of. I need to firm up this, All right, like that's a nice muscle right here, but we need to firm up this part here, okay? That's your, right, like right here. Well, actually, you know what, Monica, we're so used to going around like this, you know, like this, straighten it up, okay? And when you have your grocery cart, suck it in, baby. Suck it in, buttercup and suck that butt button. So when you're walking or pushing that cart, remember to hold your stomach because we, we lose that stomach muscles in our 20s and 30s when we have kids. And so you need to suck it up. All right, suck it up and suck it in. Get hard, nice abs, all right? And if you want to do the exercise lift up like this and suck it in and go like that, that's great too. But I've been doing this uh, fabulous 50s, this lady on Facebook, she was showing me how to do some different um, movements with my arms. like. Just reaching out, you know, and going like this, you know, like that. I have a problem with the shoulder, so I have to be really careful. I fell. I fell making a fool of myself with the golf club, okay? I swung the thing, and I went all the way around it, and I did a 360, and went down, and I'm, what the heck, right? So anyway, we're making french fries. They're in the air fryer right now. We still have a few more minutes before they're done. But we got the bacon done. Our pans are cooling down. I will do a demonstration on how to clean your stoneware, uh, especially with the bacon grease. All right, we'll get that, we'll get my sink area clean, cleaned up and I'll come back and I'll do a, a short video on that one, okay? Yeah, I have that bad habit. <laughs> Mine is I eat after eight o'clock and I really should say, Kitchen's closed, Alexis. Don't put that light on. Don't put that light on. Only drink water after 8 o'clock. I love her. You love her videos? I just found her, like, probably around in, just in uh, January or so. She's pretty, and she tells you, like, dressing uh, techniques and uh, just all over 50s-ish. But if you're in your 30s and 50s or 40s, just follow her. All right, so let's... Uh, fabulous 50s on Facebook. What are you making with the bacon? BLTs. Oh, reminds me. Need to there it in. All right. And I need four slices. No, I probably only need three. I only need two slices. My mom's only going to eat a half a sandwich, and I'm only going to eat a half a sandwich too. So. Well, that's cooking in the air fryer. I'm gonna, this can be cooked in the air fryer. Uh, let me see if that's done. Let me see, it, the bread can be toasted in the air fryer. Let me see if it's, this is done. It's almost done, yeah. All right, we're gonna take that one out. That one's definitely done. But I need another tray. All right, so I got the fries done. 
fries are all done. And this is where you can put your salt on here. And I'm gonna put the bread. Now, when I toast my bread for sandwiches, I don't want them to be hard bread. And so what I do is I put two pieces together. I wanna to toast this side and I wanna to toast this side. I want this side to be nice and soft on the inside. So this is the way I toast my bread. Has five minutes left. There we go. I made chicken salad with apples. <gasps> Ooh, bet you that was super good. Bet you that was like super, super good. All right, let's see. We're gonna come back over here. There you go. And I got my fries. Let me see if this is, this is still good. It's a, it's a, um, a new seasoning. It's a salt and vinegar seasoning by Pampered Chef. I'm gonna eat these in front of you. Okay. Now that we got the salt and vinegar on here, Tell you what, I made fries in that rapid prep mandolin before, and I just put them in the air fryer with and just uh, you know dried them off. These are definitely 100% crispier, 100% crispier. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. I don't even want the ketchup. Yeah, salt and vinegar. You ever heard of salt and vinegar um, potato chips? My friend Brian eats them all the time. It's actually pretty good. Salt and vinegar. Because you know the main ingredient in tomato and uh, ketchup is tomatoes but vinegar. But there's a lot, like, there's a lot of sugar in, t in uh, ketchup. Mm. This is good. Mm. I definitely recommend doing them, parboiling your uh, fries in water, dry them off, and then put them in the air fryer. Mmm. You know, Monica, I'm working at a restaurant that makes the best fried mushrooms. I will take all the points for those fried mushrooms. I did, I did um, fried cauliflower. We probably just use the same batter. In there. You just have to watch the batter that doesn't drip. It needs to be like a really thick batter that doesn't drippy drip. Oh my god. That is great. Mm. You should try that. Fried mushrooms. I have another job, yep. Yep, I'm a waitress. Last night was a good night. Friday night, I cried Friday night. I had this guy come in with his wife. His wife was fine. I didn't get the drinks on time to him, like Lickety Split, and we were like, we had a wait list. There's two people sitting there. He was in an orange shirt, and he was sitting there, and he scooched his chair back so he could watch. Like, watch us run back and forth. Oh, you're late. And then he was like, "Is uh, I brought out the cheese bread, and, uh, um, he said, is the dinner coming out? I say, yeah, it's coming out next, you know? I said, it should be right out. But the, the um, kitchen staff got behind and it was a lot later and his cheese bread cooled down. Most of the time people eat it like as an appetizer. And then he ordered shrimp scampi and the shrimp scampi was too salty. They remade it. The owner remade the shrimp scampi, took it out. I took it out to him. He didn't like it at all. The, at that point, the manager went out, the owner went out. And talk to him. She told me it wasn't your friend. I said, I know it wasn't my friend. So I did 44 tables. We did, we did 44 tables on Friday night and Saturday night. And I did $50 more on Saturday night than I did on, on Friday night. I did have a few people that were not, that were couples of the same male female thing. Okay. The only tip. 15%. Friday night tippers, it was it was payday and they only tip 15%. Most of the time people tip 20% or more where we work because they know we're older waitresses that are there and they really value it and they see us running. They see us like, literally I put in 42 minutes of exercise at work yesterday. 
after 42 minutes on 42 minutes on Friday night, I only did 29 minutes yesterday. How old was he? Mm, he was in his 50s. Oh, my bread's nicely done. All right. All right, so my bread is nicely toasted and the inside is still nice and soft or semi-soft, okay? So we're gonna put our, our stuff together here. I make a BLT if I can. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. So yeah, so I had to get another job because um, my Pampered Chef isn't where I want it to be. And um, I'm just a regular consultant. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, so we're gonna put in bacon. We got our bacon. I'm not gonna use these dark ones. I'm gonna put, let's eat a piece of bacon. It's nice and dark and crispy. This is for our bacon bits, these dark ones. Mmm, that was a good one. I think I need to have another one. Uh, I'll just eat in front of you. Mm mm mm. I just got rid of one. Hello, Pamela. How are you doing? You're an awesome song. Soon to be director again. Yeah, soon to be director again. I need five people who want to sign up under me and we restart the business together. I am not going on Facebook. I had enough of Facebook rules and regulations. All right. So we're going to put down our bacon. Let me see. Oh, that's nice and hot. Putting down the bacon. Nice bacon. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna be a bacony sandwich there, okay? We're gonna put in our tomato. And tomato. Two tomato. And I have a half of one. Yeah, that's a half of one. There we go. Tomato. I'm gonna get some salt and pepper. And I gotta rinse my hand off. Of course I'm using the salt and pepper shaker by Pampered Chef. Don't need too much salt because that bacon is salty. But we need a lot of bacon, or a lot of pepper. There. Need some lettuce. Lettuce. Let's get that rib out of there. Layer it so it looks fun. And now I need. Everybody needs one of these in their kitchen. It's called scoop and spread. You scoop it out and you spread it. Once for peanut butter, once for jelly, and then you can cut it in half with the slice of serrated edges there. Malta vinegar on a sandwich. No, no malta vinegar. We had, we had um, salt and vinegar on our french fries. That's good. The mayonnaise is on my lip. No, I got a new mayonnaise. We got a new mayonnaise two weeks ago. I want to use this up. So, what this is, it's like a squeegee for your your um, containers. So you see how this does it? Like it squeezes it right out, and you can pick it right up. Like it just comes right up. So it actually it actually clear cleans it really good. Scoop and spread. Little tool, and I'll tell you a story about this little tool. I never knew I needed it until a 13 year old, which uh, Daniel, uh, he was, he's a teenager, he has autism and he cooks. And he, um, he made me buy this and I've used it all the time now. And some of you know who, who I'm talking about. I know Crystal does and Monica does. All right, so let's get some more mayonnaise. And put a good tablespoon on here, maybe two tablespoons all together, all right. Just spread it out. There we go. Put that down. Voila. All right, we are done with that. We got another plate. I'm running out of room here. Let's put the mayonnaise back because I don't think I need any more. What happened to Daniel? Nothing happened to Daniel. He's uh he's a senior in high school. I think he's a senior in high school this year. He's either a senior or junior. Maybe he's a junior. Oh, he did get his driver's license. 
it wasn't a little oops accident, but it was a little fender bender and it was raining outside. So he responded really good when he got in the accident. He was by himself, believe it or not. He's, he's more high, highly, um, um, he's more, you know. All right, so anyway, there's our BLT right here. All right, so now I need to slice it, but my pans, oh, this is cooled off enough. There we go. Put this right down here. And I'm gonna get that. Uh, just get the knife. I got one more knife. Nope. Let's put that down there. All right, I'm gonna slice this. Should put this on the on the plate and then slice it. We are all done. Mm -mm -mm. BLT. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. I love sourdough bread. This is actually from Publix. And it is Chicago Italian bread from Publix. Chicago Italian bread from Publix. Okay. Here we go. And I got my French fries there. We're ready to go. No fries? Yeah, we have fries. We have the fries. Let me see, put this there. there. We'll just do up one, one display. There's one, there's part one. There, I got the other one. My mom doesn't want any fries, believe it or not. I'm gonna put those, stack those up, and let's do a final pick. And I can take pictures of this. Oh, man. These fries are the best. Definitely crunchier when you parboil them. Mm -mm. So I will download this video to my phone and I'll upload it to YouTube. So if you want to see it from the beginning, you can follow me over on YouTube. I need some gain. I need you. I need you again. Gail, 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 Gail Neal, night 313. I need you. Message me. The link is in my profile. You can actually send me an email um, just saying, hey, I want to request a join table. It's a new way of doing a party platform rather than relying on the Facebook algorithms. Uh, you have your own website uh, for a table and you have your own website for your, for your party too. Uh, so I would appreciate any follows. And if somebody wants to host a party, we do a three-day party. You pick three different tip themes and um, we have three days for you to get people in there and three-day party, you end on the seventh day, okay? So that's pretty easy, it's pretty easy. All right, but I do let you do, you have to keep up with your friends, invite 40 of your closest friends that you've been in contact with, that's how we do it. And uh, is everybody's needing some, we're all still cooking at home, especially with these gas prices, who's going anywhere? So, and, and food prices, y'all need to learn how to, how to make your butt, budget go further in your kitchen, all right? Hello, Jennifer Stewart, hello, Carol, thank you for following. Uh, if you do need it, um, just let me know. So the French fries are done. Look at there. Now cold, but you know I eat a lot of cold food. I'm doing um, food broadcast here, but you saw me do these from beginning to end, and these French fries are phenomenal. They are much crispier than if I was just to soak them in water, drain them off, and then pat them dry. We blanch them first, and then pat them dry, and then put them in the air fryer with the spritz of oil on it. Okay, so there's less oil. It's not deep fried. It has a slight amount of cold of oil on it, but you're not getting all the calories from it. And if you're on Weight Watchers and you have potatoes, this is almost free except for the oil that we sprayed on it. Okay. So definitely follow me. I try to do healthy recipes. Sometimes I don't. I have cakes in there and I, I'm with y'all. I love food. The only thing is food is a necessity. It's not a luxury. All right. But we like to eat all that good stuff. Right. So thanks for coming in and joining. We have the nice little, here's our final picture of the BLT and french fries. I guess I should put some french fries up front. It would help the void right there. There we go. And these are like stick potato, stick fries, okay? So anyway, thanks for coming in and spending a little bit of your Sunday with me. This is Sunday, March 20th, all right? And um, oh, by the way, Monica, I did go to the doctor on my rooster bite and the rooster bite's doing much better. I had to get an antibiotic and some ointment for it. <laughs> my brother came today, looked at it and said, oh my God. He goes, you're not going to sue me over this. I said, no. <laughs> but I did go to the um, urgent care place and uh, 
I got it fixed. <laughs> God, uh, thank you so much. And remember, follow me. I'm a Pampered Chef consultant, and all of your orders are appreciated. But better yet, host a party and bring your friends in, and we can do uh, videos like this in your party, okay? I'm glad I went to Monica. That rooster was pretty mad. We're looking for a home for the rooster now, okay? So that's just FYI. That's just, hey, darling, uh, bo bo da darling da boda came in. Hello, Carol. Thanks for, follow for the follow. All right, so there is our... Um, BLT. We made the bacon in the oven and the air and the air fryer air fries. But first we blanched them and then we cooked them and they are much crispier than if you did them the other way. Okay. So thanks for coming in. I'm spending a little bit of time. I'm going to come back and do a short video on cleaning our stoneware. All right. Thanks for coming in. What, was that a rooster? Yeah, it was a rooster bite, Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. It was bad. Go over on YouTube and watch. I show you on 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 the the video on the on YouTube the bite. It, almost every day I came in. I was like, look at this bite. It's getting worse. It got really inflamed and black. <laughs> so anyway, I had it taken care of. But thanks for coming in. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I always have to figure out how to turn this thing off here. <laughs>